Now, sports with Garrett Brown. Welcome back. All right, this is the big one. The highly ranked Fruita Monument Wildcats boys basketball team face probably their toughest test of the year so far, facing off with their boogeyman from the last couple seasons, the Grand Junction Tigers. Let's get right into it. Absolutely packed house out at Fruita. These two teams already met earlier this season in the championship of the Palisade Winter Classic Tournament, where Fruita took the victory, but this time, everything's on the line. Beginning of the game, Cats would be the ones to set the tone. But on defense, Brett Wojtek goes up for a shot here in the post for Junction, but Jet Wells is not letting that happen on his watch. Fruit of student section there loving what they're seeing. But it would actually be the Tigers who put the first bucket of the game in the net. Senior Brady Page here gets it to fall in the post. Cats get theirs on the ensuing possession. Austin Wells in the corner puts one up and knocks it down. Don't look now, but we have a shootout on our hands. Declan Lake here for Grand Junction, showing what he can do from range. Connects. Tigers not backing down at all, but the Cats, they're red hot right there with him. Wells making his own shot there. Fruta goes from hot to supernova here. Reed in the high post with the jumper for the bucket. Reed could not miss in this game, bearing another three there. With Reed shooting how well he was, they totally could have gotten away with making this the Austin Reed show. But they had more in store than just that. Senior guard Max Orchard from way downtown connects there. Let's go to the end of the first half. Fruta leading by nine. Shot clock and game clock winding down, as you can see there in the top left. And they turn to who else but Austin Reed with range again. Fruta keeps piling on. Junction continue to have a solid game in this one, but when Fruta's shooting like that, it's pretty hard to keep up with them. Fruta makes a statement victory with the win over the Tigers at a final of 53 to 30 and keep their perfect record intact. Now, 15 and 0. Over on the girls' side of things, we'll join this one. Fruta out way in front, 45 to 14, but don't tell that to the Tigers, who are still showing some fight down the stretch. Fruta's going to make a play here in the post, and Ella Alderman is not going to be having that with the shot rejection there. But Fruta could still do pretty much whatever they wanted. Olivia Campbell with the ball up top here. Wildcats with some great ball movement, and it's Campbell who winds up underneath and with the score. Fruta rolls at a final of 58 to 15, and now are winners of five of their last seven. A couple more high school basketball scores coming at you. On the girls' side, good day for Western Slope schools. Central, Palisade, Meeker, and DeBeck all picking up wins. The Dragons now winners of four straights. They've scored 55 or more points in each of those wins. On the boys' side, we almost had another clean sweep, but the defending Western Slope League champs powered past Palisade. Glenwood Springs, who scored, Palisade scored 51 points like their girls' team counterparts, but that wouldn't be enough to slow down the Demons. They win 62-51. All right, now let's bounce.